Hello and welcome to another Overwatch video. In this one, uh, the Sojourn cinematic came out a bit ago, and so I'm going to be watching it, looking through it, and sort of seeing what we can find in the background of the video. But to start off, before I go into it and watch it, I will show you that there are challenges going on right now for Sojourn. Uh, under the event tab. So gearing up, uh, complete three games, wins grant double progress. So you get the icon with the biker helmet, which we should see in the trailer. Uh, making the plan, complete six games, and this will give you a spray. And then when nine games or complete nine games again wins grant double progress and that will give you a emote goofa so i i don't know what that is or if i can show it off oh here it is oh okay it's, it's her laughing anyway uh, let's uh, let's watch the cinematic. Agent Tremblay. Rough night. <laughs> Tell me about it. I, uh, I know it hasn't been three months. May I? Murphy! Who's my good girl? Mm, I don't understand it. She's usually a very good judge of character. <laughs> yeah, we all have our blind spots. I have croissants. Oh, thanks. So, for official purposes, are you Vivian Chase, former rank of captain in Overwatch, call sign Sojourn? I am. And have you been in compliance since the Petrus Act terminated Overwatch's charter? No vigilante activity? Wherever you're going, let's just get there. We intercepted this a while back. Just broke the encryption. I take it you saw it already. Then you know that I didn't respond. I have a good life now, Noah. It's clean, simple. <laughs> right. But how could you ignore that? Heck, I was inspired. And those are your people out there, violating the Petrus Act. Am I supposed to just trust that you're not? Murphy, down! Croissant's getting cold. You... have a presence in the area, yes? You hear things. Hear anything about an underground Omnic insurgency? Last night, my unit was investigating an extremist cell with ties to Null Sector got more than we bargained for. But then something, someone, happened.
without that person, my team might have died. I might have died. But I have to do my duty. So you need to account for your whereabouts last night. I don't know what to tell you. I was home with Murphy. Here's the thing, though. I found this after the raid. Slug from an Elkerton Kelvin 87 railgun. Same model you used in Overwatch. I never told you this, but I joined the agency partly because of you. Testifying at the Petrus hearings. Doing what you thought was right. Doing what you think is right can be complicated. The Overwatch I joined was about raising the world up. Making it a better place. But by the end, we lost sight of our mission. I don't regret what I did. But it was the hardest decision I ever made. Do what you think is right, Agent Tremblay. Toronto is under attack. A null sector. Agent in advance, secure the streets at Beverly and Queen. Wait, what? Rooftop, I need bird's eye views. Find me a route to evacuate civilians. Who is that? Trombley, are you there? This is Trombley. Do what she says. She's our best hope. <laughs> Vivian. Orders, Captain. Stay on the comms. We've got a city to save. All right. Well, that was it. Um, that was really cool. I mean, all Overwatch cinematics are really cool. That was more like a, a badass one instead of like an emotional one like you would get from like Bastion or, or Reinhardt. It was more of just like a straight up cool one, um, which is nice to see. It didn't make me cry. But uh, now we shall go back and view through the cinematic again. Now, we can't really do that with the viewer. So I'm going to have to go finish this recording, pull it up in a window, and then I'll be able to scrub through it and we can take a look at whatever uh, we can find in the cinematic. All right, so here we are uh, in just the standard Windows Movie Viewer or whatever the hell they call it. So we start off with your obvious Blizzard Entertainment Presents. Uh, I'm going to turn the volume down so it's not like overpowering, but we can still sort of hear it. All right. So we start off 
with a coffee maker dude. Honestly, looks like a lumberjack if he grew out his beard. Um, cybernetics. I don't think there's anything really around here that means much. We got a pretty fancy barista. A pretty Canadian thing just to wave off coffee. I'm not saying that it happens all the time in Canada, but this gentleman obviously know who Sojourn is and that she's a hero, so he's just waving it off, which then Sojourn pays him <laughs> the entire thing in a tip anyway. Fist bump. So here we can see Canada Express. Um, it's the the real thing is Canada Post, but I guess this works because they're not trying to do any more in real life tie-ins. Um, but that that is an agent right there, so that's that's one of the agents. In fact, we're calling that agent in a van. Also, I just want to, I just want uh, in this image here we have Murphy. However. On the top of the roof here, we have Agent on a Roof. That's that's his name. His name is Agent on a Roof. And we have Agent in a van. However, Sojourn lives alone for all we know, it, it, except for Murphy. But she's got two coffees in her hand, meaning that she knew the agent was coming before the agent came. So that's just uh, a cool little detail. There, There's a better picture of oh there's a better picture this is agent on a roof who she totally knows is there i mean he's not trying to hide himself or anything so there we got murphy we got a pachamari squeaky toy and murphy actually has cybernetics i forgot to mention that but murphy has some cybernetics and uh yeah Murphy knows someone's at the door before before the doorbell goes off, as dogs just seem to do. Agent Tremblay. I think his first name was Noah. All right, so we have three pictures here. Um, this is Sojourn uh, and Murphy, obviously before Murphy got the proper prosthetics. Uh, starting on the right here. Then in the middle here we have Overwatch. Uh, obviously Sojourn. Actually we've seen this photo before. This is the same photo that Winston had. So Sojourn, Genji, Mercy, Reinhardt, Anna, and Soldier. And then here is what I think is a pre-Overwatch thing because uh, Sojourn was in the Canadian military before joining Overwatch. That's why she got a bunch of cybernetic enhancements. So we don't know who these people are, but I have a sort of uh, assumption that this is back when she was a part of the Canadian uh, Armed Forces, and this looks like it could be a tank of some sort in the future. These guys' faces are, like, really blurry, um, but this guy here is actually pretty in in picture like he's he's not blurred out or anything like that so it maybe future tank maybe we got the poster in the background here i forget what it was it's like some like it bought i'm pretty sure that's what the the movie is but you can see the posters right now on hollywood so there's that i'm pretty sure that's actually if you go on the Play Overwatch website, I'm pretty sure this is the lore page for Sojourn. Can I take abuse on that already? Doesn't mean I haven't obeyed his plans. So that's Winston's recall from the beginning cinematic when you loaded up Overwatch One. It's hard to it's hard to see some of these. So this one is the museum battle. This one looks like Cassidy comic, I think. I th I'm pretty sure this is Cassidy. So this could be... I don't even know what this would be then. Unless this is him getting Echo. The the comic where he went and got Echo, or the cinematic where he went and got Echo. 
This one right here looks like Widow on a building, so I'm guessing this is the London cinematic. This one here is from the original Overwatch 2 cinematic, the uh, recall cinematic. This is Echo flying through the sky, and you have people recording her. And then this one is Reinhardt hammered down. Now, I thought this was from the Doomfist cinematic, like the original Doomfist one, where they were fighting Doomfist in Numbani. But apparently Reinhardt has, like, his own reading comic where uh, there's this image. So it, it could be from that as well. Violating the Petrus Act. Am I supposed to just trust her? The Petrus Act was an enactment that... Basically, when all this stuff happened with Overwatch, the building blowing up, Black Watch doing their own sort of thing and messing it up and all that sort of stuff, uh, Overwatch got disbanded and it came into law that all the people who worked for Overwatch either needed to retire, get another job, um, or they were arrested. And so that sort of shut down Overwatch. And that's just a basic basic summary of what the Petra stack is. Oh, poor Murphy. How sad he is. She is, sorry. <laughs> God damn, look at that jawline. Man has like one of those rubber things that you put in your mouth and you just like bite down on repetitively to get a, a workout. Um, CSIS is... I'm not sure actually. I don't I don't actually know if that's uh a thing or not. C S I S. Ah, it is the Canadian Security Intelligence Service. So obviously, um like the Secret Service or anything like that, they are not like extreme agents, I would say. Like, they're not, like, undercover agents or anything like that. Um, but they sort of go in places that you wouldn't send, like, an entire military to go investigate and would be too dangerous for uh, a common detective. So we have a few standard bots here, and then we have a new guy right in the center here. And I don't think we've seen them in a... Uh, I don't think we've seen this one in anything before. Not that comes from recent memory. The closest thing that I could do was like the Medusa bots that they showed off on the Petra map, where it like pulls you in. But this this uh, bot here has a lot of other weapons. They like they have a completely different move set, and they don't even look alike. So except for the face, maybe. So we'll see as we go on. So this skin here, uh, if you purchase any of the PvE bundles for uh, the invasion, you're said to get a Sojourn skin. And I believe that this is the Sojourn skin that you will be getting. So she has a biker helmet on. Obviously, she has her pulse rifle, uh, like a different variant of it, I guess you can say and uh, sort of a different, like, uh, all-black bodysuit to blend in with the dark and the night and all that. Although, saying that, she does have LED right across her face and, I guess, uh, in her armpit here, so I don't know who she's trying to fool. Oh, and across her chest. What? What's the point of wearing black, then? It does look super clean, though. So this is Bullet Hell. We're going to call this Bullet Hell Buddy. We have one, two, three, four, five, six double-barreled, fully automatic. I, I guess it's uh, it's just a common blaster, just shooting energy pulses. But uh, this this guy might be a bit annoying to try and deal with, especially if... He's just going to be a constant Reaper alt all the time. Like that. Even just like the small detail, like like Murphy ears, her ears perk up when when she hears her name. I don't know what to tell you. I'm a 
Hmm. I don't think there's anything really here other than they arrested the standard bots and are now examining the Uber bot, I guess you can call it. So those who don't know, a railgun is actually a, a metal slug like it's shown here, but it's guided across a rail using magnets and it's sped up. Now, in real life right now, these actually aren't that powerful. If you ever look up a, a video of it, they're not, they, they can still do damage, but they're not as powerful as you, you see in video games and, and that sort of stuff. Uh, but again, this takes place in the future and they obviously have better tech for that sort of stuff. But yeah, it's just, it's pretty much just a metal slug guided by magnets to just send it at very high velocities. I was, uh, I'm just gonna point this out here. We need to get a Sojourn Casual skin with this sweater. This is an amazing sweater. Like, like sort of like a Hanzo casual sweater, like casual skin thing, but for Sojourn. And it's just like basically this right here, her white hair. And it, this sweater is just awesome. Fully about to arrest her here. Murphy knows what's up. Such a good girl. Boom, and we have all of the ships. Um, <laughs> they're like star destroyers or or heli carriers. Um, but yeah, there's a lot more of them than just the one that we saw on the Toronto map. If you go into live game right now, there's just sort of one hovering there, and there's also one above Paracio. But they're they're sort of just hovering there, unless they've added more now uh, that the cinematics come out. But before it was just one in each location. It's all coming together. And we have this amazing rollout. So we got the blinds that close. We got the secret bookshelf that hides the computer and uh, guns. We got under the countertop. You can see the countertop lifts up here. And it reveals, I guess, a wardrobe. That part flips over. Uh, I guess this is another side wall, I guess you can call it, that reveals some more legs. And then, of course, the coffee table houses the railgun. Also, I don't type fast, but for, like, I've seen people who can type fast, and for being, like, having cybernetic fingers, that, that's awfully slow typing for having cybernetic fingers. I feel like in the future that, that, would, that would go a lot faster. That's just, that's just nitpick. Wow. Actually, we're, we're being attacked from, like, all over. I didn't even realize this watching it through, but we got massive you know, these are like radar things so i don't even know if these are the ships or anything but then we have i'm guessing this is individual omnics there is a lot of information there i don't think any of it that has any actual information on it no so we actually have some of the like units here that are attacking so we can see this is the mine uh, on this side, as well as a sort of an image of one of those uh, f vultures, I think they called them, when they were showing off the, the PVE trailer. Then we have, oh yeah, the mine. And then we have the standard Omnic soldier, and we have a splicer. And let's see. I think these are just images around Toronto, like other images around Toronto. Uh, we have terminal camera. As I said, this is agent in a van. Okay. 
She just calls them rooftop, but to keep consistent with agent in a van, we have agent on a rooftop. And that's that's the only way they will be referred to is agent in a van and agent on a rooftop. Also on the side here, you can see actually other guns uh, that Sojourn may have been looked at given in her early development. That might be an Easter egg. Who knows? We won't know until they confirm it. Also, she has a uh, a blowtorch arm on this side, so there's that. She can she could she could have had a flamethrower. That's all I'm saying. Someone said that I I don't know where, but like someone said that she could swap out her torso, which I just want to make like that makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Like, you, you would still need lungs, and I guess in this future thing, I guess you, maybe there's fake lungs, but, like, this isn't filled up with anything. Like, none of this is filled up with anything, so these are clearly just clothing. She cannot swap her bodies. It is just her arms, her legs, and I believe her eyeballs, and she she has something, like, on her face, but I, that's that's it. Also, uh, on the side here, actually, do we have a clear visual of this? Yes, we do. So there we can see uh, the legendary skin that I believe we are getting with the uh, PVE bundle. Then we have her standard skin and then her Overwatch skin uh, that you can get in game right now. It's a legendary. Oh, that arm's so cool. Also, for anyone who thinks that this isn't doable, it is completely doable. My friend did it with his airsoft pistol, and you, although pretty dangerous, you could do it with an actual weapon. So, and also these are probably this is the future. Th those are probably like lighter energy pistols. For we all we know, it, it's completely possible to hold it like that and and reload it like that. Overwatch. Also, I like how they no, no longer put the two beside it. Anyway, uh, that was it for the Sojourn cinematic uh, and Sojourn cinematic breakdown. Uh, super hyped for it. Uh, Invasion will be coming out on the 10th, which is Thursday. Their normal time is 2 o'clock. Uh, you can download it on... You can update it on Battle.net, or you can download it on Steam. I don't know if they're going to do a preload for Steam. I hope so, so that I can get it on Steam, be able to log in and figure everything out before the game goes live. If not, then I'll just play it on Battle.net, and I'll have it updated on Battle.net Battle .net to play it there. Or, in the worst-case scenario, Steam just loads you into Battle.net, and then you have to play from Battle.net anyway. Um, but we'll see. Uh, that's it for this one, and I will see you in the next one.